Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we will be starting with the modulus function. So we will be starting understanding the basics of modulus, how it operates. We will be seeing the graphs, how you can plot the graphs and solve problems. So let us start with this. So modulus, say for example, modulus is represented as y is equal to mod x. And this will give you the value of x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0. So let us understand what this means. Say for example, you want to find the value of y is equal to mod minus 8. So here you can see the value of x is minus 8. Right? So what mod does, let us understand with the help of a graph. So the graph of y is equal to mod x is this. So I'm plotting a graph. This is x axis. This is y axis. And this is the graph of y is equal to mod x. So it's very clear whatever value we give, whatever value x can see, x can be positive or negative. You have to understand. But the output that is the value of y that you will get will always be positive. Because y will lie from here till infinity it will go, the axis. And x can be anything. So we will be understanding later that the value of x is known as domain. Whereas value of y is known as range. So basically what values can x take? So if x is 1. So let me tell you this is the graph of y is equal to x. And this graph is y is equal to minus x. Combine this graph is y is equal to mod x. So let us see. Say for example, x is equal to minus 4. So x minus 4 will be somewhere here. Minus 4. So if we plot the graph, what's the value of y? So x is minus 4, it will give y as. So the value of x is minus 4, you will get y as 4. Simply whatever value you enter of x, it will make it positive. So say for example, x is 5. So y will be 5. If x is minus 5, y will still be 5. Simply it will make it positive. Now say for example, so you understand for this, we are not going into domain and range right now because we will study that in function class later on. We are stand, uh, studying understanding only about modulus. Say for example, simple example to understand how we can solve equations. Say for example, somebody gives you mod x equals 2 and they are asking you find the value of x. So question is find value of x from mod x equals 2. So what you have to do is, so whenever somebody asks you to solve an equation, what you have to do is that you have to plot this side graph and this side graph. So y is equal to mod x you have to plot and y equals 2 you have to plot and you have to see at what places both intersect. So y is equal to mod x graph just I told you uh, beforehand. So this is y is equal to mod x. You plot this graph. This is x axis. This is y axis. This is y is equal to mod x y equals 2 you must have also this is x is equal to 1 this is x is equal to 2 let me plot some values 1 minus 1 and this is minus 2 and this value is 1 this value is 2 uh, also same uh, on the y axis minus 1 and minus 2 so now if you see y is equal to 2 the graph will be like this so this is the line y equals 2 and this is y is equal to mod x, this entire part. So there are questions. So I'll go to this one, find the value of x. But somebody asked at times how many values of x exist or what is the total number of solutions of this equation mod x equals 2. So what is the total number of solution if somebody asks you, you have to just simply check at how many points both graph intersect. So the number of solutions for this equation will be 2. So there are two places at which both intersect and there are two solutions for this. So that means you will get two values of x over here. So now which are the two values? So y is equal to 2, simple. So this is 1 point minus 2 and this is 1.2. So x will either be plus 2 or x will be minus 2, simple. So x will be either plus 2 or minus 2. So these are the two solutions for this equation. This was a very simple one which you understood right now. Let's illustrate this with more examples. So the example that we took was mod x equals 2. Let us understand if 
somebody gave you mod x equals minus 2 and the question was find the number of solutions. Find the number of solutions for mod x equals minus 2. So I told you for number of solutions you have to check what? How many times y equals mod x cuts the graph y is equal to minus 2. So I will plot the graph. Already told you y is equal to mod x graph is this. This is y equals mod x and I am plotting 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2 and y is equal to minus 2. So this is 1, y, this is y is equal to 2. So y is equal to minus 2 will be this is minus 2, minus 1, this is plus 1, this is plus 2. So y is equal to minus 2 will be this line and y is equal to mod x will be this line. So clearly you can see that both graphs will never intersect each other. This will go this side, this will go this side and this is a straight uh, a line a horizontal that is going on. So both will not cut each other. So you will get no values of x. So here there will be no solution. This is the answer for this. No solution means mod x equals minus 2 has no solutions. Let us understand in a simple way. What I told you is that mod x, mod x adding mod to any value will give always a positive value which I told you in the previous case here you already saw that this graph whatever value you add what I told you x can be negative or positive but y will always be positive y is always positive so output is always positive now here it's somebody is saying by applying mod you are getting a negative value which is never possible so we are getting not no solution by graphical way also i proved that you will get no solution for this so this was very simple one